How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and men and women, and people? I am Julius Sumner Miller, the Professor Julius Sumner Miller, in this strange place where strange things arise and from which they emerge. Strange, uncommon things. Consider the following. Consider the following. Wonderful to contemplate. Here I have a triangle. A triangle. You all know as schoolboys, ages 4 to 94, that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. And I am led to reflect with you on the man who first gave us the idea, Pythagoras, a Greek. And how did he prove it? Wonderful. Imagine that you were in the academy in Athens and there are blocks of marble on the floor, square, rectangular, and such. And here is a great column of marble supporting the roof of the temple. And a shadow is cast by the column, and it intersects here at corners and angles. And so was Pythagoras led to say as follows. Let me see how I shall do it. I am going to take off this angle here, take it off, and put it here. And then I'm going to take off this angle and also put it there. Let me see if I can do it. There I have it. There I have it. The three angles sum to 180 degrees or half a full circle the Babylonians having given us the idea of 360 degrees for the full circle. Here is a man who in the 4th century BC, when he did look, he did see. So much so that the Greeks have honored him by commemorating his work on the Pythagorean theorem and on cylinders and spheres in stamps, which we wish now to look at more sharply. I'd rather not get involved. Stamps. Here are the two Greek stamps, this one and that one, which commemorate the great Pythagoras. Here is the Pythagorean theorem, of which I shall speak another time, and there a cylinder circumscribed by a sphere, or surmounted by a sphere. Now, regarding Pythagoras, something for you, you, for you all to consider. Those who were good mathematicians were named to the order of Pythagoras and wore a badge, a pentagram. So I have a big pentagram for you big people who are mathematicians and smaller pentagrams for smaller people, indeed for smaller ones still. Now, there is a condition that... Uh, that is imposed on you if you wish to be a member of the Pythagorean order. What is the condition? That anything you discover must be attributed to the master Pythagoras. And so it was that the famous Greek geometer Hippasus, H-I-P-P-A-S-U-S, he discovered how to circumscribe a sphere around a dodecahedron, 12-sided figure, put a sphere around it, he decided how to do it, but he failed to pay tribute to Pythagoras, and guess what happened to him? He was drowned at sea. Drowned at sea. They played for keeps in those days. So, those of you who wish to be members of the Pythagorean order, come forward, make known your findings, and say that I, Pythagoras, you, Pythagoras, first observed it. And now, one more thing for you to worry about. I have a disc or a wheel with a spot on it here, on the edge, one here and one in the middle. I'm going to roll that so and ask you to consider what kind of a curve does this point describe as it goes? What kind? What kind of a curve? How does it look? And before we meet again, I ask you to draw such a figure 
and I shall reveal the truth in our next meeting. Thank you for watching.